Hello, I'm Ibrahim Wutti, structure engineer. Today we will learn how to design timber structure. So we will design structure like house for example. And we will learn um, from the structure code like Euro code for example, where we can find the equations and the formulas to, to deal with this structure. I will use robot structure analyze uh, in this uh, uh, in this design and there are many videos series of videos in the end we will have our structure verified um, and we will deal with all the parameters like elastic stability buckling lateral buckling and in the this in this in this videos we will uh, know what is the difference with steel structure and timber structure uh, what is the contrast here and the contrast here and uh, how to deal with the both of them i make a video about how to design steel structure in my channel i make a lot of detail in it so you can go to my channel and find out what i what I make like a videos. There are courses about Tikla structure, rivet structure, solid work structure, um, critic structure and robo structure. There are two touristic videos if you are interested. So in these videos we will find out what is the difference between steel structure and timber structure. So here in the Euro code for example so we have many type of timber structure we have a closed laminated timber and we have massive timber so in this table in the Euro code we have the different type of uh, different class of timber in the crude timber Crude laminated timber. So here we can distinguish there are a lot of contrast. So it's not like a steel structure. So for example, we have bending contrast, we have traction axial contrast, we have a traction perpendicular contrast, we have compression axial, axial contrast we have compression perpendicular contrast too so it is not like the steel the the timber is very weak so we have to distinguish what type of effort we have in this member to to design the structure correctly so, and here in the in the glued laminated uh, timber, we have many type many type of timber. So we have bending contrast. For example, we had here twenty four megapascal. So uh, until thirty six megapascal. So it depends what type of timber structure we will design so it's very important to define because it's it's matter the same way for example for traction actual contract this uh, we can find it with inclined assembly when i have in timber inclined assembly so i have to uh, be aware to this series of contracts it depends what type of it's not like steel in the steel, so uh, in steel we have uh, we have contrast and uh, is uh, more solid than than timber. So here we have traction uh, traction axial contrast for uh, 
traction per poter eh, per perpendicular contract or ortho orthogonal contract so here i can find it in the web in the inclined web in in my structure so i can find here the the perpendicular traction contract is very small if i compare it with uh, with uh, traction contract so here i have 0.4 megapascal so in the inclined assembly or in the inclined members so i have to be attention here the same way compression axial in the column timber column so i have uh, this value compression perpendicular contract the same way it's all about assembly included assembly and uh, the connection between members so for example the berlin the, the support of berlin in the firm so here i have uh, i have perpendicular effort so this table for example here i have uh, okay cesament here share forces share forces I, so when I see this value is very small so and and uh, the other characteristic uh, mechanic characteristic value we can see is very different about steel and I have more verification to do to do to from the steel structure so it is for uh, is for clued laminated timber so for example here i have massive timber so i have the same thing many class of massive timber with many contract so massive timber i have two type of massive timber so i have with C, I can distinguish it with C and the second one with D, and I can I can see the the timber structure with D is have more uh, bending contrast from uh, from uh, from C. So it depends the type of tree uh, in this situation. So. Uh, in the timber structure when we when speak about bending about bending uh, contract so the value for all the members is not that it's not the same so in in 95 percent i have uh, moyen value in the middle and the the five percent of the member so in the side and in the left so they they use his gauss gauss curve for represent this result so and it is not the end so this this value is characteristic so i have to apply many coefficients and if you work with timber the the coefficient k is famous in this in this um, code so i have cook k grid k mod k c um, many type of coefficient k in this code so here for example so this i will reduce this value by device is by the coefficient k for example k mod and there there is lambda there is uh, uh, this coefficient um, i can call it for example lambda m so it depends so for example coefficient k here we speak about k so coefficient k for example so it depends two parameter uh, first parameter is the uh, is the uh, uh, period of chargement and second parameter it's um, where is the timber member where is the timber members if it is uh, in 
um, in uh, cell with uh, with heats or in the for example in the uh, outside outside with natural temperature so uh, uh, a cause to this parameter I can define I can define the value of my coefficient k so I have for example here uh, in uh, in local uh, where is uh, where is temperature where is here here um, where without temperature here for example in outside for the coefficient lambda so here it depends what type of timber member uh, there is so I have uh, timber, I have a glued laminated timber. So it depends on the value. So in the end, I will apply this equation for I have or for I have my value of uh, resistant bending resistant or bending contract. So I have lower value. So and for a row, for a row for calculating the deformation of the structure, there is it's not it's the same equation um, for uh, normal members. It's uh, but there is another uh, there is equation uh, in addition. So I have uh, I have a second equation for uh, calculate the deformation. So I have many verif uh, many verification for uh, for a row. So here we will distinguish, for example, instant a row. We have creep a row, for example, and I have to verify uh, the two uh, equation. And then I have to uh, final a row. I have creep okay and okay so in the end so as we can see here so here instant row and I have a creep row so it's not the same If I have a uh, timber member uh, doesn't have big span and is very charged, so the shear forces can design uh, this member. It's not the bending moment. So I have to uh, KS as a coefficient KS too. I have to uh, say it is coefficient safety coefficient and I have a uh, two K system is uh, we apply K system when we have when the the member uh, when we study the structure or the structure and this member uh, work with another timber member uh, which 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 applies the same forces to design timber structure we have conception many conception so for example we have this conception we have this conception we have this this design it depends the purpose of your design and how you deal with your empty spaces so um, in related of, of all these parameters you can define your section of member timber so that all for uh, this video uh, don't forget to put like 
and uh, in the second video we will uh, deal with 2D model. So see you 